Okay, so now that you have installed ROS, you are ready to start working with ROS. And the first thing that you need to do when working with ROS is to start the ROS master node. The ROS master node, okay, using the command ROS core. Okay, so you can see here ROS core is going to start the master node, which is the node responsible for managing all the connection between the other nodes in the ROS ecosystem. If you don't run the ROS core, so no ROS command is going to work. And now let's see a few examples. Okay, so for example here, now we have Roscore running. We can check the nodes that are now available in the ROS ecosystem using ROS node list. Okay, so ROS node list here, it tell us that there is only one node that is called ROS out. This is kind of the default node in the ROS ecosystem. Also, it's possible to see the different topics and I will explain later on in details what is a node, what is a topic, but these are just comments that allows us to see the different nodes and topics available in the ROS ecosystem. Here we have two topics. Okay, so as you can see, when the ROS score is alive, when the ROS master node is alive, you will be able to run every ROS command. So the role of the ROS master node in a ROS ecosystem is to ensure the communication between any other nodes in the robot operating system. So let's see what is the effect if we close the ROS master node. For example, I will make control C now. Now it is closed. And now I would like to make the same comments again, ROS node list, and it will say unable to communicate with the master. Okay, so the master node is not alive. Same thing if I do ROS topic list, same problem. So we cannot execute any command. If you make ROS CD, it still work because this doesn't depend from the ROS master node, but other commands that start with ROS, like ROS node or ROS message or ROS topic, they are able to execute because the ROS master is not alive. So from this example, we can understand that the ROS master is the core node in a ROS ecosystem uh, and uh, its operation is important for running the whole network. And if the ROS master crashes, for example, so the whole ROS ecosystem is not going to work. And this is one of the problem maybe of ROS1 is that it has a single point of failure because it heavily depends on the execution of the ROS master node. And this is pretty much different from the design of ROS2 which, have, which has solved this problem, by the way. Okay, so now we can type again ROS core. And let's try to understand more the concept about what is a node, what is a topic in a ROS ecosystem.